Welcome back to the channel. Our most recent video brought in over 50 new subscribers. I don't know if it's my background in computer science, but I am addicted to numbers and problem solving. Six years ago, it was figuring out how to beat the statistic of not becoming the 90% of traders who lose. Then it became how the hell was I going to get through Calc 1, Calc 2, linear algebra, discrete math, combinatorial algorithms while learning four computer programming languages and maintaining my part-time job. Now it's focusing on my full-time job as a software engineer and trying to beat this freaking YouTube algorithm. These analytics YouTube provide is so useful in seeing what works and what doesn't work. And sadly, the more videos I release, the more and more I realize how this algorithm makes it extremely difficult for new YouTubers to grow and how bad my thumbnails and titles are at successfully getting clicks when seen compared to other YouTubers in this sector. I'm getting carried away, but what I'm trying to say is thank you to all of you who subscribe to the channel when the stats are up against us. The goal is to continue learning how to provide not just educational content, but visually pleasing content so it doesn't feel like a boring lecture. This video specifically is a bit different, but watch it all the way through to possibly learn something new by the end of it. In this video, we are going to go over some famous influencers' bad and good investments. I don't know about you, but there has been so many times I've heard friends say, If only I had a fraction of the money these famous people have, I'd make an easy living investing in stocks with such a big account, or I'll buy eight or nine rental properties and sit on my butt as my money makes me money. But is it that easy? Why doesn't every actor do it? Why are actors and athletes still finding their way to bankruptcy and failed investments? I'm going to start this video off on a bright note with the king of the crop, Colt Bennett, I mean Michael Kelso, I mean Steve freaking Jobs. Ashton Kutcher is known as Hollywood's most active tech investor. A little backstory on Ashton Kutcher, he wasn't born into a wealthy family. Growing up, he lived in a stressful household and worked odd jobs to help the family with expenses and just a means to stay out of the house. He worked as a janitor in a factory, cleaning dishes at a restaurant, mowing lawns, working at a butcher shop skinning deer, he publicly said he tried to take on as many odd jobs as he could just to stay out of the house. Once finally out of high school, he managed to set aside enough money to go to the University of Iowa to study biochemical engineering. But that path would soon change when he got scouted to model. After just one year in college, he decided to pursue this newfound love of modeling, which led him to the beautiful New York City, which eventually helped push him into acting and landing a big role in that 70s show. It's honestly amazing where life can take you regardless of where you came from. After accumulating so much wealth by acting in a handful of successful shows and movies, in around 2009, he got close to a multi-billionaire named Mark Andreessen, who convinced him to invest $1 million into Skype. 18 months later, that $1 million turned into $4 million after Microsoft bought out Skype. After that moment, he was hooked. He decided to find a mentor and to continue his investing journey with some of his most successful investments being in Uber, Airbnb, and Spotify during their early stages. The man now has a net worth of over $200 million, and he isn't shy to say that his mentor played a big role in getting him where he is in his investing career. Moral of the story is don't be afraid to reach out to people who have proven success in something you're interested in pursuing. Better yet, if you aren't a people person and find it hard to make connections with strangers, get yourself some books written by professionals who literally show you step by step how they got to where they are now. If stock trading is one of those interests, click the link below to get an Amazon book written by a professional stock investor who will show you step by step how he picks his investments. Next on the list is Selena Gomez. Unlike Ashton Kutcher nailing investment after investment, in 2011, Selena made her first big investment of over $750,000 into a postcard greeting app, which was featured on Shark Tank. The app sadly failed to take off and was completely shut down by 2015. Investing can be a blessing or a curse. Just depends if you truly put in the work to learn how to pick up the good from the bad. But hey, what's a million dollar loss to someone now worth $75 million? Next on the list is a prime example of investing not going your way. Nicolas Cage having a ton of money between the 1990s and early 2000s, raking in $40 million a year in his prime, but sadly, this Hollywood star spent millions on filled stock and real estate investments. He had no one to mentor him along his investing journey, and he got hit so hard by the 2007 real estate crash that he filed for bankruptcy by 2009. 
So much for buying a couple rental properties and sitting on your butt while your money makes you money. Moral of the story, find someone who is successfully doing what you want to do and learn from them. Last on the list is Jared Leto. This man seemed to follow in Ashton Kutcher's footsteps by reaching out to mentors to help solidify his stock portfolio. And a little side note, as a famous actor or athlete, it is a lot easier to get mentored by multi-million dollar or even multi-billion dollar investors. For example, LeBron James receiving mentorship from the likes of Warren Buffett, which pushed LeBron into becoming an angel investor in multiple businesses and turned a $1 million investment into Blaze Pizza, now being worth $35 million. But back to Jared Leto. He has bankrolled more than 50 tech startups and had the mentorship support to confidently invest in Uber, Airbnb, and Nest in its early days, bumping his net worth to reach over $100 million. Majority of these famous actors made their big money being angel investors in early startups. If this is something you can see yourself doing, check out the website Angel Investment Network, where there are over 200,000 investment opportunities that range from $100 investments to $100,000 investments. They provide a safe way to invest and listen to thousands of pitches to help jumpstart an idea or business from different parts of the United States. If they succeed, you succeed. Link is in the description box down below. All right, that is it for this video. If there's anything I want you to take home from this video, it is that finding a mentor is one of the most important parts of becoming successful in whatever field it is that you're interested in. A mentor can be as simple as a book, so don't be afraid to just get started. Until then, I will catch you.